everyone, it's Cyril or Lovely Day here with another video. Today I'm here to properly introduce this doll. She's a part of the same story as Lee and before she makes an appearance I want to tell you more about her. Her name is Rachel or Ray for short. She's a soul doll Isabel and is on the new zenith body. As far as her BJD shell goes it's actually kind of interesting since it doesn't really match the original depiction of her character at all. Not gonna lie I bought this doll more for the doll and not for the character Ray. Not that there's anything wrong with that but it meant that I've adapted the character to the doll as opposed to the other way around. Without getting into specifics because spoilers Spoilers. Her character goes through a lot of changes really early on in the story and for that reason I wasn't all that committed to her original concept art. When I first created her she was a student. I was a student too. But as time has gone by I've found myself less convinced by the stereotypical and cliche school setting. So I aged her up and here we are. Even though rewriting her character has been challenging I love her so much more as a result. There were parts of Rachel's original design that I wanted to change completely and I was open to the idea of mixing things up which made it all a lot easier. Having such a beautiful doll to work off of really helped too. Anyway, let's start talking about her. Rachel is in her mid-twenties. She's had a pretty worry-free life, although it hasn't been without the occasional hardship or sob story. No one's perfect. There are undoubtedly things in her past that explain why she is the way she is now, but she chooses not to think about it. Despite her delicate appearance, Rachel is very clumsy and is always sporting bruises from her latest knock or tumble. She likes to express herself with crazy hair colours but is otherwise pretty lazy when it comes to her appearance. She does like to look good though and takes pride in her feminine figure but she would never admit to it. Ray is the sort of person who doesn't like involving herself in other people's lives. The few times she's interjected her thoughts and opinions in a conversation to try and help a friend, her advice has fallen on deaf ears. She is very in tune with the emotions of the people around her and is somewhat of a modern day empath. However, she's not very confident when it comes to connecting with people via these emotions, if that makes sense. She has a family, a mother, a father and a brother, but she doesn't contact them as much as she probably should. Ray isn't very outspoken, but she has strong opinions that she chooses to keep to herself. Although I wouldn't say she's a nobody, she does prefer her own company to that of a large group. Rachel only really has one close friend which she has known since she was little, but they don't talk much these days since they live in different cities. That and the fact that neither of them have very good communication. These days Ray has a couple of social circles that she interacts with on a semi-regular basis. She is somewhat of a satellite in these groups and is hardly ever the centre of a conversation or a gathering. Ray is a government employee at the local hospital. It's a one-stop shop for humans and Cynthia alike. Ray works exclusively with Cynthia, helping them learn the behaviours they'll need to live alongside humans. Rachel teaches the Cynthia everything from body and colloquial language to social cues and how to read and respond to human emotions. This is a crucial part of a Cynthia's successful integration into human society. Without training from someone like Ray, Cynthia mannerisms are quite jarring and humans generally don't respond well to them. Rachel has been in this job for the past two years and she is very good at her job. She lives alone in a small studio room on site and works a 40 hour week. Ray knows more about her colleagues than they realise despite their limited interactions and they know next to nothing about her. She holds her cards close. Ray is constantly and unwillingly in tune with the emotions of people around her. She can and will take advantage of people's emotions to avoid conflict. Ray quite enjoys the company of Cynthia and her work since they are simple and logical beings that don't have hidden agendas. Anyway, I think that's all I have to say about Rachel for now. Next time you see her, it'll probably be in the context of the story with Lee, so look forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what you think. If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you joined me here. I upload a new video every weekend on Sundays. Thank you so much for watching, it has been lovely, and I'll catch you in another video sometime soon.